All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Roko. We're back at it again, playing The Walking Dead in the Telltale game. Uh, I mean, Telltale series, season one. Uh, right now, we're up to um, episode four uh, of The Walking Dead. Oh, man. Talking about episode three, an emotional roller coaster. One episode is is, uh, is deeper than the other, you know? Tensions, like, tensions running high. And um, yeah, today right right now I'm streaming this on my uh, Twitch my uh, Twitch channel, and also I'll be posting the vod on my other video channels as well. I want to thank everybody for the support and the people who are tuning in. I really really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. I'm trying to make a Twitch affiliate. Uh, I'm getting I'm getting uh, very close. Hopefully I could uh, reach it reach it by the end of the year, maybe. Uh, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll see. I'm just glad uh, you know I could be a kid be doing this again you know I, 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 I took a break off streaming for a while i had to handle some things but now everything's all good i'm super excited to be back streaming and uh see what other game have in store for me and also yes uh yesterday i i announced um i got i finally got my ps5 can't wait to uh hook it up soon and be, and be streaming uh from it and play and play just just play the amazing games of the playstation 5 what it has in store for us for for me and you know for all y'all so yeah for right now um yeah we'll go back out again play the walking dead so thanks for being here all right so let's get right into it let's go i finished finished episode three now we are episode four around every corner here we go So Clem's walkie-talkie wasn't busted. She'd been talking to someone, a mystery guy. At least pissed. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly! Ugh, I've heard enough out of you! Now, what the fuck's the problem? Square in the eye. Like right in the eye. You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna what do we do? Give me the gun. Oh, yeah. I'll do it. Damn. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. Oh, yeah. Traitor fucking jump. Man. What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah. I got your parents right here, and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. So that the choice you make it that's how you play and your spirit may be different from others all right so this train stopped I right, went to Savannah, abandoned city. Yeah, be on our guard. Episode four, around every corner. Just 
just for a little while. We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's Onid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Oh. Someone's up there! Are you sure? Someone's up there, definitely. I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! <laughs> if I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Damn. Oh, it's everywhere. Run. Everybody, run! Okay, give him help. Oh shit! Pity! Little too close. Don't you think? Ben! Oh shit. No! Ben! Help her! Oh, oh you fucking pussy. Ah, Coward! Oh, Chuck, no! Bro, come on! They're literally slow. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Oh, shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time! We gotta go! Now! I'll be fine! Just go! I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it, I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Let me see if I can find us a way in. You think the 
dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? No, oh, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside, now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Alright, keep exploring this backyard. Oh, a little grave. Looks like something was buried here. It's the doghouse. I'm thirsty enough to drink that yet. Anyway. The shovel is never not useful. Let's hold on to that just in case. Oh, you! I want to ban you, fucking coward pussy. I'm gonna give you a tongue yeah. lashing. Let's see. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what Can happened. Can I yell at him? I just Come on. Froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. Yeah, threaten. Yeah. That's I the way. Better you better hear me, boy. Give you an, give you an ass whooping. You can never see me like you never got him before. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up if we could just figure out how to get in. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. Hmm. There's no way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. So I'm trying to spike it. Hook on the shovel. Nah. The other way is there. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. I'm gonna be able to bust through that. What's this? Pet Looks door. like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right. So, where's the dog? All right, there. I passed the dog also. Probably a little tiny grave for the dog. There we go. It's gotta be it. I just have to dig him up. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Whatever it is, 
says it's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Gross. Clementine, honey, come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. Oh, God, the smell. Oh, shit, taking off all dead dog. Must have belonged to someone. Yes, man. All right, for the best. We need the call to survive. Ugh. Can't get it off. Ugh. Okay, that is not cool. Yeah. Yeah, right Are you soil. okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Damn, the head just came right off. Alright, we got what we needed. It was the best. Here goes nothing. Yes! God damn! See anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. <clears throat> it's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Oh, wow. Brandon. Clem, what do you see in there? Ta da! Dress first. You know, I, I get rich. I think on our feet. Good job, Clem. Good job. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Yeah, she did a good job thinking her Looks feet. Looks okay from here. Got Everybody in. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? That should be straightforward. Well, I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play they're games with us, yeah. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Omid's feeling better. You best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All 
All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. All right, let's check out this house. See, it's all safe. Cabinets. All empty. Nothing. Water's off. Dog food. No longer needed. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. Wait. Another choice, can I? I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Yeah. Not that like not that desperate. Nope. No, sir. Cabinets. Oh, drawing. Walter. Cleaned out. <laughs> Must have stopped working a while ago. Ooh, bottle of whiskey. Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. Actually, we do need to. I could use a drink. Take it. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. How's it coming? Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Can't take the whiskey. Let's see. The kitchen. Put it downstairs. Nothing hiding in here. Not exactly my style. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm alright. I feel you. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. What do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? 
No, but I'll take care of it. <laughs> okay, check the two doors already. I think, uh... Okay, this last door. Check. There we go. Jesus! What? What happened? It's nothing. Just, uh... Nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee! Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Oh, what can you find? Here we go. Into the attic. I think Lee should have his gun out just in case, ready. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Walker, kid. Like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. Actually, it does look like Vendor's duck. happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here, starved to death. Jesus Christ! I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I'll do it. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Here. This'll make it clean and quick. What are you doing? I thought you said you were gonna take care of it. I'm sorry, man. I, I don't know that I can. I don't know that I can either. Oh, I thought, okay, I thought, never mind. It's okay. I'll take care of it. I thought, wait, is he gonna shoot it? I thought, well, that make, well, that make too much noise. I thought Lee was gonna, like, probably use the, um, spike remover, like, the, the, me the melee weapon I have. Okay. This must have been where he slept. All empty. He probably died of dehydration before he starved. Damn. What a way to live. What a way to die. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, 
This could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Mm. Melee weapon, yeah. to waste the bullets, make noise, track walkers. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. I'll get in a proper bed to a kid walker. Oh shit! Fuck that guy! Oh my god! Scared me. Who's that? The fuck is that? Hey! Hey! Creepy stalker guy. You stay the hell away from us! You hear? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence. Watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Could be. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. Alright, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. 
We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you wanna. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place one I more- I said I'm done with this house! We can do both, Ben. You take one last look around the place, grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? No offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed to not take offense to that? What am I, a liability? Great. Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you pulled. Real talk. You feel for me? real. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. That's all that shit he's been through. He's on, he, Ben's on probation. He has to earn his trust. It's gonna be a long while before before it gets uh, put any trust in this guy. Hey, uh, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there, in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean... River's we... right up ahead. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What the hell is going on? I have no idea that someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? It doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. 
This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Telescope. Let's keep out. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Yeah, still to pay. Oh damn! Pale and strung up. Fuck! What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? Or do something like this. I have the option to use my gun. Nah, they can't hurt me. And I'll be wasting bullets. Barricade uh, of dead bodies stacked high. Damn. Still in a, in a Walker Apocalypse and stuff to pay for the telescope. I need a quarter. Damn. Markings. They're all over the place. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Oh, cash register. Probably look for a quarter there. Maybe there's some change in the drawer. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Damn. Someone already looted the place. Oh, new stand machine. Locked. Oh, there we go. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Things didn't go as planned. I'm say you don't try it. Gotta smash this. See if it work. Damn. Built solid. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. No sign of any boots down there. Plenty of docks, 
No boats. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. Oh, I think that's better. I saw earlier. What the hell? Got to, got to, they're using to keep Got to, they're using to climb that wall. Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. They got Mike, got fast Mike Tyson hands. Mm -hmm. Knock him out. Clem? Oh, Clem. You're not from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Mind if I get up? Slowly. Can he know it's not our guy? Who the hell are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. 
That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. A bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Is that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. Clem, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Meat started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? I came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here, find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before- Right. Just right. Isn't that the- The way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Bob, is there a- Hey! You're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here, please! Oh, you bitch. Come on, make it fast! Oh, fuck me! Come on, come on, hurry! Oh, come on, come on, Lee. It's all your, all your mind strength. Oh, my God. 
Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Damn, we're in the sewers now. I believe he escaped. Just by the lick Shit. of time. He going back up there. Nothing here. Okay, let's go downstairs. Shit walkers. Could be the way out. There's no way I can take out all of those things by myself. Looks like some kind of drainage pipe. Progress. Now turn to the right, open the water to see what's here. Yes, Chuck. God. Chuck, you must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. Shit. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man.
Okay, good. I didn't use the gun. It was a melee. Smart. All right. Looks like somebody saw the damn thing off. Jump. Wait, okay, let me see. I think I could pry. Can I pry this open? Those bars are way too solid. No way I could pick that up on my own. Okay, never mind. Shit, it broke off. Oh, fallout shelter. The hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Wonder if someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. All right, we're gonna make a progress on the food. Okay, look at it. Can take it. Shit, wow, people. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. Uh, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Uh, which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, I don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. I don't want to die today. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer. Or I'll shoot. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! <sighs> Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No, I'm really not. Well, uh, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. 
How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you here? Clem? Ain't got time for that. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? I don't 
care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Molly? I told you, that girl isn't with me. Go ask your buddies and quit bothering me. Clem? Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clementine? Clem's drawings, but where is she? anywhere out there. Uh, no walkers either, though. Clem, you in here? I said she was downstairs. Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You wanna throw down again like back on the train? Cause I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. I think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kinda crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. Think she went out to play in the backyard? On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. For real. Clementine? Clementine! back here.
Oh shit. Holy shit, a boat. Our only prayers have been answered. It's a miracle. You know what? Let's go for it. Holy shit. In a moment. Holy shit. Swear. That's a perfect time. Found a miracle right here. Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Let's go for good news for change. I think we could all use some good news. Good news is the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. 
That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clem. I just don't know. I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? You know what? She proved herself. She's very smart. Always thinking on her feet. Yeah, she can come. Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Holly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. 
The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay All quiet. Right, doing this. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. There you go. We're doing this. Sound like a little heist going. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? You disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Well, at least we made it. Fuck! Fuck! Do you think they saw us? Your guess is as good as mine. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure! What always happens, I guess. In the end... The dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on, I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Found the armory. Figures. A lot of guns. Hopefully, there's guns there. Looks 
Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Act before you know it. Okay. All right. Where did I got? Got search for supplies here. Let's see what we got. Map. Get a good look at it. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Hopscotch. No power, no TV. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. <laughs> yeah, I hope. I wish I was like during my childhood and my Do high school and college days. Do you think will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't know, Sweet Pea. But we all have to believe they will. Remember what Katja said back on the farm? She said we'll all be home soon. And now she's dead. But we're not. We're still alive. And we have to keep hope alive, too. It's the one thing none of this can take away. 
All right, let's talk to Ben. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? That'd make a nice change of pace. Wow, no need to agree with me quite so much. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. Yeah, don't give me an attitude, Ben. You start all this shit. Start, it goes no, right back wait. to you. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Damn, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Look, Ben, I really don't have time for this. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's head out. Alright, go ahead. Let's see. I have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Nothing. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? Hold your horses, girl. Looking around. This must be the way to the playground. Where Bree said the fuel was being stored. Hasn't been much time yet. I better let Bree and Kenny do their thing. Shell casings. I've already been fired. They're worthless. Okay. Body locker. Mm. Let's go beyond and see. Can't open it without the combination. Logan. Open it without the combination. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, Lee. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? Yes, I'm not going that way. All right, where she went? She's been yapping on me. Come on, come with her. I'm here. Auto shop must be down this way.
must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Damn, it's jammed tight. Does she want? Where's Molly? Here. Get too close. Holy shit. Leave him. He's mine. Nice to see you. Damn, she's going ham on that what? walker. I think you got it. One more. Ugh. For luck. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah. But the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah. That'll work. Fence down. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit, it's still alive. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. Nah. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? What do you think happened to Crawford? No, no, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Alright, alright. I'm going to have a look around. You do that. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Can't reach it up there. 
Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. It's locked. No way in. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Something you need? Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. One off. It's off. There you go. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Never stop complaining. Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Ain't chicken. Be as strong like an ox. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Bolly! Damn it, what the hell is she doing? I can't open that locker. You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Can't open it without the combination. Little help here! <laughs> <laughs> 
No, fuck. Start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. Oh, I thought oh, so you can't say something else. Hey, I... I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. I blew my chance to talk to her. All right. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Shit. <laughs> Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight.
There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. I found a little cassette. Oh, okay. Camcorder. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. We maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. this on the floor it's a sonogram there's dried blood on this printout and on the floor looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there then out the door what the hell happened here do you think shooting it open would work only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed so no I don't Hey, Krista. Yeah? I 
I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omid's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with that him... That is not gonna happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine! You're right. I'm sorry. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're gonna get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up. Oh, you... come on! You just dug up a rotting dog carcass! I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Okay. No tape inside. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. I want to watch it again. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh god, oh god, oh god. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. That you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. The doctor that Molly went ham on. He has something on him. I go find that dead doctor. Combination. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Got 
Not on the tape. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. Oh, the locker code. said the safe combination was only four numbers. Must be Shit. It. Time to go. I wonder where he went because that was like the jumping over the fence was like the only way. And it goes to a cutscene. found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, stick up. No, no, no. Damn, she's sitting like, damn, that was quick. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. I was watching the third tape, so we had it. We have it right now. Okay, so they, they got everything. The hell? Oh, it was Listen, mine. as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can. Oh, that little. Why? Overson Long had time. someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit.
Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret, kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked, how anything was better than becoming one of them, but I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late, before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Jesus. Man. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, you fucking idiot. Oh, shit! It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Oh, nice. Thanks. Good shot. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Okay. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. I said save it for after we get out of here. Fine. Go ahead, tell him. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. Me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kitty man, I agree with you. 
with you. You should kick his ass! But now's not the time! You gotta focus on getting out of here! You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! Denny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later, but right now we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> oh shit. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! <laughs> much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. <laughs> Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Oh good, I'm trapped in. Lee, look! Come on, baby. Get out the way! Ah, oh, shit, damn. What's your way? Oh, that twice in the game. It's all right, Clay. I'm fine. 
Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Come on, let's go! Everything okay? Oh, me! Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. She'll be okay. I know it's tough on her now, but she'll understand. I did what I had to. She will understand, right? She's gonna have to if she's gonna make it in this world the way it is now. No easy decisions anymore. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, 
Do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't nah, it? Nah, she'll be safe be with safe. me. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is going to wind up dead. You hear me? The passion in his voice. I love it. I can mess you up. Hey going somewhere yeah I'm about to head out I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything it's been fun what are you talking about Kenny's working on the boat right now thought you were coming with us God knows you earned it yeah I've been thinking it over it's not for me Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, Will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Anyone lighter? So sweet. And we've been through so much. <laughs> Let me see you cry like this.
<sighs> Clementine? Oh, she's gone. Clementine? Clementine? Clementine! Oh shit! Fuck! Oh fuck! No! Oh, no! No! Fuck! Oh my god! Lee? Oh, shit. Lee? You out here? Lee! Fuck. Damn, but damn. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. I... Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's a walker's. Fucker jumped me from behind. So where's Clementine? Clementine's gone. I found her hat and her radio on the ground out here. That's all Shit. I found. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No, no. I'm not just in that bite no right way. And who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? Lee, I'm sorry. We can't. It's too risky for us. And I have to put him first. He's not well enough to go off on some rescue mission. Krista, I'm fine. I can... Ah, He's just not up to it, Lee. And I'm not leaving him again. I really am sorry. I hope you find her. But you're gonna have to do it without us. I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? You and Clementine are the only family I got left. I'm with you. To the end. Guess it's just you and me. We should go find Vernon, see if he took her. What about the boat? We can take care of it. Get it out on the water. How long do you want us to wait for you? If we're not back by nightfall, we're not coming back at all. Get the boat out onto open water and don't look back. Good luck. Oh, they're gone.
Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Motherfucker. Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Episode 4, the time left. Next is episode 5. The boy in the attic. Okay, here's our percentage of my choices. The boy in the attic, you kill the boy in the attic. Do you and 20, wow, 25% of players killed him. Wow, small. Bureaucratic oath. Did you lie or threaten? Or threaten Vern? You, 58% of players were rational and honest. Hmm. Home Alone, did you bring Clown Time with you to Crawford? You and 55% of players bought her. Yes, she earned it. For whom the bell tolls, did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 47 of players let him go. Hmm. Oh, I thought it'd be higher. Uh, we got the bite reveal. Did you reveal your bite to the group? You and 80% of players hit the hit the bite. Wow. So percentage hit, hit the bite. Who came with you? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, we got Kenny, 80%. Maybe due to our choices. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Wow. And when I saw that bite, we're gonna leave and get bit. My emotion just charged up. Like, oh my god, I spent so much time with him. He's a good guy. Go with Clem. Fuck.
All right. I think I'm going to wrap it up right here. Uh, I want to thank everyone who came to the stream, who watched. I want to put this up on my, my video channels. And I want yeah, to thank you all for the support. Um, I'll be back probably pretty soon. Okay, I can't say tomorrow, but I'm not, I'm not sure. But I'll, I'll, of course, I'll be streaming the last episode of season one on my Twitch channel. I mean, putting it up. I think I might go all the way uh, with The Walking Dead. There's more se more seasons coming, uh, can't, and I'm excited uh, to to play and show and show y'all y'all. So I want you all to have a good one, and I'll see y'all very soon. All right, take care.